the top 10 things that I was able to accumulate slash life changes for me, I am sharing them with you today. Let's get started, you guys. Two things in this video I want to accomplish today, and that is I'm actually going to select the winner for this week's giveaway. But here's the thing. I'm actually gonna select two winners because it's been about a week and I want everybody to try to get some of these things before the holiday. So I'm gonna select two today and then I'm gonna select one for next week. So second thing I wanna accomplish, my top 10 things that we're gonna talk about today that I'm excited to have and thankful that also it was a life-changing experience for me also. So that's what we're gonna talk about. All right, let's get started. You know what, I'm gonna kick off the video with selecting one winner and then I'll share with you my top 10 favorite things slash life changes and then we'll close out with a second winner. Okay, so let me do the first winner and you guys know what they were. I finally got it in the mail, finally, finally, finally. And that is the Foot Nanny. Oh, this camera. Okay, oh, that's a good shot. So this is the Foot Nanny combo where it's the sock, the cream, and the skin buffer for your feet. I love it. So this is how it came. I thought it was a really nice package. I didn't know it was going to come like this. Um, and then the other thing, as you know, is the Cartier Perfume Trio. All right? So... Here's that first winner, which you guys know. Everybody's names I have added to the bowl as well as remained in the bowl. Okay, so here's the first winner. We're gonna do it together. I'm gonna shake them up. I'm gonna close my eyes. All right, so the first person is the Dolce. Perez, Dolce Perez, oh, can't see that. Oh, there we go, Dolce Perez. Okay, so you are the winner for the first prize that I just shared today. So you're gonna send me your information and I am going to mail this out to you right away. Okay, so that's the first prize. All right, so now let me kick it off with, I, I my my top 10 luxury slash light changes for me really are like all over the price points. But um, I'm going to start off with a easy one. I'm going to start off with the first one. And I talk about this brand so much, you guys, but I'm just really in love with this brand. And that is my phone case. You guys know this is my second one, and I've gotten the Air AirPod cases for them as well. And I'm about to order a black one. So I love this case. So this was the last one that I just received. So I'm really excited to have this because I feel like it's luxury when I touch it. It makes me stop, smile when I see it. And I love the fact of what the price is. I think it was like maybe like 60 something dollars compared to what you guys know. Some of these cases cost a lot. So I'm really thankful to have this guy. So this is one of my top 10. Another one. Hold on, I hear Vegas barking. That was the first one. The second one I share, I wanna share with you is a most recent purchase, and that is my new crossbody bag by Fendi. I love this a lot. I really didn't buy, <clears throat> because of COVID, you guys know, I really didn't buy a lot of pocketbooks or handbags this year. There is another one that's on my wish list. I'll share you what my, my wish list is going to be uh, for 2021. But I just really have been wearing the crossbody bags that I already had, which I already shared with you guys because of COVID. It just being hands free just has been working for me. So I just added this, this to my collection because of COVID. I love it. Mini camera bag. All right, so that was the second one. The third I want to share with you, I'm going to mix it up now. Now I'm going to add in a pair of shoes. You probably can guess what shoes they are because i say it all the time drum roll what is my favorite shoe to buy you guys my favorite shoe not my boot what's my favorite what's my favorite brand and type some of you are probably saying it already and that is <laughs> gucci prince towns so these were the most recent ones that i added to my collection i got them off of ebay slightly warm but i love them so these are the ones that i added to my collection for this year 
And I actually even was wearing them up until a couple of weeks ago. I think I can get away with them because they were black and because they had the little, you know, pop up with the stars. I think I like these too because they give me a little different from my regular plain black ones. But I love Gucci Prince Towns. I'm always on a hunt for my next pair, just trying to figure out what they am. I just love them. So yes, I'm addicted to these. Uh, all right, so that was the one. Now, now I'm going to switch to another pair of shoes. Actually, can I say I love these? I just recently got these, and these I got from Zara. And these are these black combat boots. Yes, they're like the similar, the dupe to Bottegas. Um, the difference, obviously, from the Bottegas is uh, the Bottegas are like a little higher here, and then it has the tab in the front. But can I say, I don't really buy a lot of Zara shoes because you guys know I'm a big, that's my thing. I, when it comes to shoes, that's the one thing I probably don't sacrifice on is the quality of a shoe. I would rather wait, find something as you guys saw, pre-owned or something like that because I do like a quality shoe. And when I say this is a quality boot, this is a quality leather boot. I have worn this so much in the last two weeks. Um, it's comfortable. The leather is really nice. And I what I didn't buy it because, oh, I'm trying to look like I'm wearing Bottegas. No, it was more so, I thought they were just a really nice combat boot that was a quality boot in style, in trends, to kind of do what my, my look is, my vibe, and also the trend right now. And here's the other thing. If they were Bottegas, I would not be wearing them out today because it's actually raining pretty bad where I am going to rock these, wear these for $100 and feel okay and still have like get my little cute vibe of what I want to wear today and still be fashionable on trend and happy and not worry about me messing up a thousand dollar pair of boots so i would like to have those bottegas one day it is on my wish list but for right now these are going to do just fine so if you're looking for a nice dupe or just a nice trend combat boot i definitely recommend these okay so that is item i think we're on number four i am now going to throw in just to kind of mix it up a little bit i'm going to throw in a quick uh life change trend speaking of clothes so here's another one i'm going to switch to um an outfit and this is the yeah yeah ah, yahimato yahimato uh designer that i've shared with you guys i'll put the name right here so you can see his name and uh he does a nice collaboration at the y3 store in new york uh, uh the y3 adidas store he makes a lot of clothes from them and then he has his own line in some of the department stores but it's a Japanese designer and I just love the the, the trend of unstructured you know you're not going to wear anything the same twice because it may not fall the same way but I just love the, the the oversized baggy unique design that he creates whether it's with the Y3 store or his own brand and so here's a, a you know the quick clip of when I wore this um, uh, The other thing so here is uh my number five and that is my life changes in regards to wearing what i want i will encourage you guys to do the same thing i have really pushed my boundaries this this past year with trends and doing things that i just want to wear in my closet like it, this like this is a basic another one i have never just worn a stripe with the blue and army green i know it's weird but things that i just never did before and so i'm just liking the fact of just going in my closet quickly putting something together and not making it a big deal long as the colors complement each other next time i wear this turtleneck i am not going to wear with these green pants i'm going to force myself and do it with something else so that's something that's been a huge life change for me and i say part of a luxury because i'm having a chance to enjoy some of my luxury things in a different way and they feel brand new without brand 
being brand new. So that is uh, another tip that I'm hoping that once again, I'm, I'm sharing with you and maybe it's kind of, it helps you as well to kind of maybe try it or do it or just see what you guys think. So I don't know, that's my number five. Number five, number five. Okay, so now I'm gonna switch to a jewelry item and that is my Cartier bracelets. I do like these a lot and I'm really thankful to have accumulated these too. So this is the open one because I, I like to take my jewelry off at night and then this is the small just in clue. So I, I will actually put this on now. So I absolutely love these. So I wear the one in the front and then I put the open one in the back. The clothes one is very nice. I just, I'm not a person that like to sleep in my jewelry. So when they, when they design this one with the open, it's stuffing for people like me. So that is one that I love, thankful to have. So that was number six luxury. Now let me switch to number seven. I'll, I'll keep with the jewelry. This is another, I want to, I don't want to say, yeah, let heck. It's a dupe, but it's a dupe that I love. And you guys saw when I did this one. So this is the necklace that I got from Tiff. I mean, I got from TJ Maxx. And it is a copy of the one from um, Tiffany. And, or is it Cartier? I forgot which one it is. Tiffany or Cartier. It's one of them. And of course, like so much more money but I love this one I, I made it shorter so it fits like right above my uh, collarbone and I absolutely love it so for the price it was definitely worth it check out my video remember when I talked about this one and my tips on what to do before you buy jewelry and if you need to alter it so watch this video right there all right let me know what you think all right so next one I'm gonna switch to is I'm going to do another life change and that is something that's been fairly new for me making a point to do this especially when I'm doing my videos for you guys because I don't want to look the same every time I get on my video and that is my hair. So here's the thing up until two years ago and really this last year more yeah 2020 is when I really have gone more creative and that is changing my hair by adding hair, adding ponytails, you know, giving myself a little side thing to make it longer. Things that I've always loved when I see other people with the, how they style their hair and but just never took that initiative to do something about it, to do my hair different, to, you know. And when I really found out that it really doesn't cost a lot to do uh, your hair or to change your hair a little bit and the other thing is too for 2020 I'm really thankful for is you know COVID we we have our things that the challenge in our life and then we also have some things as we know that have turned into a positive way that we've sort of grown in other areas because of COVID and because of COVID, I've definitely grown in my style and my fashion of wearing what's in my closet. My husband, whenever he sees me, he never knows what he's going to see now, which is what I love. I sort of like, like to shock him when I come around the corner or something, he'll be like, oh, you know, so I kind of like that just to kind of, even just makes him laugh or make him smile. I like doing that too. Before I share my last two things, I, you know what, I'm going to now select our next winner and for this week which i did not share with you what the third giveaway was i actually have three things for you in this package first thing is my favorite cotton pad that i know we talked about the other day by chanel so there's a brand new box of these i am actually giving you a candle by my family member who started her own business so that is that one that smells amazing. This is like a fresh California scent <sighs> that I just thought would be perfect for no matter who wins it. And the third thing is part of this package. I just got it in the mail, I was waiting for it. And it is the Barbara Sturm Body Scrub Brush. And you got a brand new one, 
not even open. I just got in the mail yesterday. And I love, 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 love this brush. I actually got it in the soft because not know who's going to win it. So it was either soft or medium. I personally bought the soft. That's the one that I'm using. And when I say it's just like perfect, it just like, you know, I use it on my, I use it all over my back you know my arms my knees my legs it just really gets off the the surface layer of all the the dead dry skin that you have and uh, you do it like right before you take your bath or your shower and then you get out and you put on your lotion it just it just feels so good when you're doing it and then when you get in the water it just it just feels so good and then it's so easy to clean you just rinse this thing off with some water and it's and it's done so this is the barbara stern body brush that i love and uh, so that is the three parts to this particular giveaway. All right, now bring out the bowl again. I have the bowl right here. I'm gonna shake it up. I'm gonna close my eyes. Closing my eyes. Okay, oh, one fell out. Sorry. All right, one fell out, shaking it too much. Okay, closing my eyes. Okay, 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 okay. The winner is <laughs> the winner is Barbara Harley. Congratulations, Barbara Harley, um, who is a huge, huge fan. Um, so I'm excited for her. You guys are always probably gonna notice she always makes comments on all of my videos. She's probably the first one to make comments on my videos, and she's so inspiring to me and my channel. So um, congratulations on your prize. I'm so excited. All right, so now I'm gonna finish off my top 10 luxury life changes experiences brands. Um, here's my last two things. My last thing is I'm gonna share my favorite sunglasses, which I recently got this year, and these are the new Tom Ford's aviators that I love. They're like an aviator that's a slightly round, Oh, perfect. It matches with the little stripe in my shirt. So it kind of has like a little rose silhouette to it, but I love it. I, I bought them to wear like for the fall and the winter, but they're definitely for all year round. And I absolutely love these. I recently got these. So I'll definitely link all the information below for you guys. So here's my last top 10 that I'm sharing with you. And that is my life change for 2020. We talked about how COVID could have impacted you. You guys know um, I had a, um, a I had a major life change of lo losing a family member um, not too long ago. And I will say, um, you know, it's due to family and friends and and the people that know you you know, know what you may be possibly going to going through and being there and knowing exactly what to do, when to do it, how to do it, and the words um, that you need to hear when you, when you need to hear them. So for all of those people who have done that for me in 2020, I want to personally say thank you. Some of you are subscribers of mine that you have been leaving so, so, um, heartfelt, heartwarming comments that you have no idea that when you leave those comments, sometimes I see those at the right time. And those are the right words that I need to hear and I need to see. So I personally just want to say thank you. So you never know how you're blessing someone. So for all of you who are watching, I'm going to ask you to continue to bless others. And it's simply that doesn't cost anything to any of us. And that was also why I wanted to include this as my top 10 because not everything costs money and your words don't cost anything but could me could value beyond the measure of any value put it to it. So I just want to encourage you to keep um, doing what all of you are doing to help others say kind words, do kind things because you never know the impact that you can make on their life just by doing that and it doesn't cost us anything. So... That is my top 10, you guys. I love you. 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 I thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, 
make sure you do it right now before you believe me. I appreciate it. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and then, you know what? Share it with somebody else too. I would love that. Um, and I also have Instagram too. I know I don't talk about it a lot too, but I do have Instagram. I'm bad with it, but I'm gonna do better moving into 2021. So I love you guys. Thank you so much. And stay tuned for next week's winner. Don't give up. There are more to come. I have some more goodies actually being delivered uh, in the next two days. So I love you guys. Have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon. Oh, 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 oh,